I have a journal I carry around and write in every now and then. Jokes, poetry, short stories, you name it. I thought I'd, well, I, I'd like to share some of that. Beautiful sunny day on the curbside of a neighborhood. Adam is sitting down eating what looks to be ice cream and playing with his bird. Oh bird, I love you. I can't believe it's been six long years since I found you on a pile of dirt, abandoned by whatever horrible bird mama you had before. Well, I'm here for you now. I'm your new mama, one that isn't a stupid f***ing bird. Adam looks at Bird and gives him a kiss on the cheek. Bird shows his affection by giving Adam a kiss on the cheek back. Adam then gives Bird his ice cream, but is suddenly hit with a flash of yellow light. Ah, what the- Within the blink of an eye, Adam suddenly vanished, leaving Bird on the sidewalk, alone and confused. Bird, wondering where Adam went, looks around, trying to find his beloved owner. Not being able to see him, Bird stresses the frick out, causing him to break his streak. A faint voice cries out. Whoa! Careful! You almost squished me! Bird looks down in the direction of the voice, only to discover that Adam has been shrunk down to the size of a grasshopper. Like in that one movie about that guy shrinking children or whatever, I, I've never seen it. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I, I'm small. I'm small! Why am I small? Adam looks down in absolute awe. His world has now been made supersized. Just like that asshole kid on the other side of the street, staring at him down. Uh, <laughs> the asshole kid reveals that he had a shrinking ray hidden behind his back. Uh, mm, check, please. <laughs> okay, okay, everything's okay. I'm alive, right? I just need to stay level-headed and not lose my cool resources. What do I got? Adam checks his pockets, only to find a nickel and a tiny image of a butt. Nice. Adam looks up. Hen, well, I guess I have you, big guy. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my God! It hurts! Oh, it hurts! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck! I'm dying! I'm dying! I was, uh... I was walking down the street one day and I saw a baby. Terrified the fuck out of me. Uh, don't worry, it was with its parents, but god damn are these stupid little things intimidating. You're probably thinking to yourself, uh, but Adam, you're a grown man. You can literally suplex a baby. Babies can't do shit, but no. That's the thing. You can't. Society deems it wrong. Not to mention the law that's probably against it, but these ruthless monsters have free range to do whatever they damn well please. Listen, it's one thing when a grown man comes at you with a baseball bat trying to rob you or whatever, because at least you can defend yourself. But it's another. When you encounter a wild baby, someone else is, keep in mind, and they look at you with this face of disgust as you scarf down your third Nutella-filled fish cake. If that little cretin decides to open its smug little mouth and commentate on my dietary habits, there's nothing I can do. I can't punch a baby! Society deems it wrong! So here's my pitch. Her and I, I and her, stroll through the park. It's beautiful, enchanting. On this night, we embark. With her, I'll walk forever, no matter the cost. And then she mugged me. Keep in mind, kids, some stranger remembers you just because you were kind to them, while another remembers you because you had like a funny looking nose or something. I don't like using the word I so much because I feel like I come off only wanting to talk about myself. I, I feel I could do so much better listening to others. I want to listen to others. I want to hear about what people have to say. Even if it's boring and not about me slash serious. <laughs> that was, it's not even a fucking Emergency, 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 all personnel, please listen. listen. The, the smart, smart people, people are pissed. pissed. I, repeat, I repeat, the smart, smart people, people are pissed. pissed. Our, Our stupidity, stupidity, although being incredibly entertaining and face filled, has, has finally caught up with us. Smarter, smarter, smarter people, people are being forced to retaliate, retaliate with nothing but facts, facts logic, logic, and reasoning. reasoning. 
These nuts jokes will no longer have any of effect as of today. I repeat, these nuts jokes will no longer have any of effect as of today. To help bring down tensions between colleagues, we must adhere to their demands and read a book or something. Daffy Duck slamming his penis in a car door is not a good substitute. Don't fuck this up. The story of the stupid f***ing ugly duckling. Once upon a time, there was a duckling that was so stupid and so f***ing ugly, no one liked looking at the dang thing. One day, the stupid f***ing ugly piece of shit <laughs> decided to walk down into town where it met a nice old man who then shot it 47 times in the chest with a clock. Exercising his God-given and American right, the Fourth Amendment, or whichever it one it is. Which raises the question, really, when is a roast duck bad for your health? When you're the duck. When you're the duck. Some days I feel I am worse than people. Other days I feel I am better than people. But most days I try to remember. I shit it and farted it, everyone does that. Fuck, I wrote this down. I wrote this one down. I literally took the time and effort to get a pen and a paper and write it down, then convert it digitally using a computer, a keyboard, and a fucking mouse. What is- This isn't really a joke, uh, more of just a thought. <laughs> uh, I just want Netflix to have a button that helps regulate the flashing lights on their shows. Something that could, I don't know, keep track of the rate of the flashing occurring on screen to match with the refresh rates or other big boy TV terms and blah blah blah. I don't know, they have a lot of money, just f***ing do it and make a TV show that doesn't give me f***ing epilepsy, please. The people wanted an easy outlet for fame. The market said, we got you fam, and sent us social medias. The people rejoiced as putting out content got easier and easier. The market said, let's try to keep the content simple as to not piss off the advertisers. And the people had no objections, as simple content meant easy money. Where the f*** did all these adult babies come from? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Hey guys, uh, had to cut this one short. Really wasn't hitting the right notes there and ended up getting a little bit too political for my liking. I, I didn't want to offend. Anyways, I have another joke for you, and I hope you like this one instead. <clears throat> Why did the chicken cross the road? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> because hey guys, uh, just like the last joke, gonna have to cut this one a bit short too. Uh, just not vibing with this whole edgy stuff I've been putting out lately. Uh, Want to try to stick to my morals, my roots, and keep things a bit clean, you know? Okay, uh, <laughs> how about this one? I'm going to try to make it a little bit more simple. <clears throat> a Mexican, a Jew, and a black guy all walk into a bar. Hey guys, uh, wow. Just wow. I don't even know what to <laughs> This is just unacceptable behavior. I, I swear I'm not a bigot, but I am going to take a very long look in the mirror when I get home and do some real soul searching because, wow. <laughs> Ah, where was that one gonna go, you know? <laughs> I'm not even seeing a punchline written down any- Oh, there it is. Well, <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> a Mexican, a Jew, and a black guy all walk into a bar. And had a good time hanging out. Aww. Aww. Okay, well, <laughs> that was cute. Wait, what year? One billion lions would be decimated by one of every Pokemon. Listen, reason one, lions are stupid and will kill each other trying to assert dominance within the pride. Reason two, lions can't slash will not form a giant omega lion powerful enough to defeat the godlike creatures we call Pokemon. Reason three, Pokemon are hot sometimes. Yeah, I said it, I'm not afraid. And reason four, Jeff Bezos used the money of underpaid workers to shoot a penis-shaped rocket into space. Do you really think Blaziken gonna take a couple lions? A person once told me every time you take a step, the bone in your feet crack. There's no punchline, that person's just mean. 
I have a buddy that asked me the question, um, what would we lose if we took the entirety of China and turned it into a parking lot? I looked at him like, oh, bro, what the f And he said to me, I mean, really, what would we lose if we took the entirety of China and used it to store our cars? And I was just kind of sitting there like, whoa, all right, man. <laughs> I mean, for one, our cars. Happy thoughts, Adam. No more introspective bullshit. Okay, maybe just a little bit more, but they get it. They get it. Go read a book or something, dog. Just go have fun. Do uh, something. Besides going on Twitter, Fox, please just stay the f off social media. Twitter, you don't need it. Why does anybody need to tweet out, oh, I got coffee today. Also, fuck this thing. I don't like it. Why do we? <laughs> Stupid f***ing ugly piece of shit. <laughs> that was that was a good day. <laughs> and stay hydrated.